Again, this is what you have to be mindful of. This won't work on eucalypt, it won't work on, on gum. Um, it's got to be a soft, pithy timber in between that we can burn off. That in itself looks quite nice. Or you can get nylon pads, like, you know, Brillo pads. The other thing is you can use steel wool and clean it off. With steel wool, which then makes that grain stand up because I've taken all the pith away between the growth rings. If you really want to get into it, you can use a wire, wire brush, which will remove a lot. And I don't know if you can actually see that. You can definitely feel it. That's about half a mil of hardwood coming through. You can put your colour onto that. And it really gives you definition, <coughs> excuse me, as well as texture. So that's, that's using a map gun. Um, you can use propane. Personally, I prefer a map gun. I think it, it does it a lot quicker and a lot better. The last ones I'll cover, I'll just plug it in there, is um, if you've got a burning kit, poker work, you do get when you buy a burning kit or pyography, pi, pi, I think they're called, um, kit, you get standard oh, tools and little pieces. Now these are some of the little nibs that you get when you buy a standard um, burning set or poker set, but it is just as easy and I think much more fun if you make your own. I have a couple of favorites I use all the time. If you look online, there's different um, videos on, on how to make your own branding irons and branding tools, but these, you can buy them and just use the standard ones, that's absolutely fine but it gives you a whole new range of things you can do with burning. There's, where's that one I did have? So this is a pattern I just made myself. This looks like a top of an old electric stove and I've used it just around the rim of that bowl and on the outside all I did there was put a groove in and then got a bit of fencing wire and held it on the outside as it turned into the lathe and it, it burnt. So with this, so you just put your mark in there. So you don't have to be really 
tricky and super artistic making something you can really pick up points when you put the texturing or design or colour into it if you, you mess it up you just go over it again I'll give that a little bit of a I'll just put some red on that. There you go, there's another idea.